alleyway that smells like pee and I just saw a <laughs> discarded packet of Viagra, so. <laughs> Random find of today, but Brisbane, that's not why we're here. Dream. We're here to test what we're shooting on. This Tamron 17 to 28 mil, 2.8. It's gonna be pretty fun. And get hit by this car. Right. Let's go. Let's go. This review will be a thorough test in a run and gun environment, and we'll be testing this lens in general gimbal performance, hyperlapse, indoors, vlogging, corner sharpness, portrait photography, low light, night autofocusing ability, wildlife and eye autofocus and even a bit of pixel peeping at the end so stay tuned and watch to the end as it really helps our channel out also. The thing I'm noticing, focus, focus so close. What's your fave? Graven fireflies. I liked it only That's yesterday. That's very sad well. for a favorite. Uh, only yesterday? Or... The Cat Returns was really good. Yeah, it was good. Um, it was really good. The least thing I've ever seen in my whole life. Nothing about that cool. is aesthetic to me. No one bit. Okay, next test. We're gonna do hyperlapse tests. So, this should be the perfect lens for a hyperlapse because it's a wide angle lens and with hyperlapses you're getting so much information and with a wider picture it just adds to it even more so I'm pretty excited to try this out got the gimbal already, Weeble Lab perfect gimbal for this kind of lens let's have a look how we go We make this at home, but it can never truly compete with like legit Korean because I'm white, white people <laughs> are always gonna make inferior it's Korean true. foods. It's just a fact. You could actually make this a cinematic sequence, just like some parallax effect. Let's try that, okay? I think it. I think we got a bit, bit of a Dutch angle there, but I think, I think it worked. As you can see, wide angle lenses are great for food photography and great for food shots because you just got everything, fits everything. Zoom in, just see out the macro capabilities. Zoom in, just fits everything. Is it good? How good? How good is it? <laughs> I have a lot of feelings about it. It's delicious. It's just See? the most unusual texture. It makes my lips all tingly and cheesy. Can't go wrong with that, can you? Pretty much what I'm food up for. Because it's got the 2.8 aperture, it's good for indoors and dimly lit places like this. So that's another plus. For the Tamron. I'm gonna eat now. So first shot out of focus. Oh well. But this one's on the money. Situation in the building. Talk about a hot mess. It's not ideal. Are those brides? next to hay bales up in that window. So on the A7 III, which I'm guessing most people are going to be using, so maybe the other variants, the A7 R3 or S3 when it finally comes out. If it ever comes Hopefully out. Hopefully in a month or two. Is this lens weatherproof? Because it's raining. 
Yeah, it's meant to be rainproof, so that's cool. If you press the Super 35 mode, you bump it up to like... 42 millimeters. And then you can bump it up again to... 63 millimeters. We're gonna check that right now, see if we can imitate like a 55 mil, see how versatile we can make this lens. So let's try it. You ready, model? Yeah. How's your purple drink? So sweet. Look how purple this is. That's pretty purple. Made in where? Taiwan. Just sending some love out to the Taiwanese for the boba, for the purple drink, for the lychee drinks that I've got in the bag. Anyway, let's <laughs> let's keep on track for this one. How about we? Parallel. Yeah. So this review was very much a run and gun, real world field test and as it happens in these types of dynamic filmmaking scenarios, things go wrong and we had planned to shoot in HLG3, not in the standard profile and we like to overexpose for that but it still looks good and yeah it's just a bit of a shame but so please forgive us for that. Ryan baby. So we've had a bit of trouble with the June Weeble Lab uh, using the 16 to 35 f4 and the Tamron 28 to 75. Those lenses have been a bit too long for this gimbal. It seems to not like the weight out the front. So it was really nice to test this gimbal out with the 17 to 28 mil, knowing that it's a little bit less front heavy. And when you're putting filters on the front, which most people want to do when they shoot in the daytimes with these types of lenses, it just adds to the problem. So this was really nice to just take it around. And it's a little bit more stealthy. Another thing to note is that you miss out on some zoom range with coming from the 16 to 35, but the lighter weight and the smaller size, we're willing to cut those losses. The force will be with you. I don't know what the hell this is, but it's kind of nice. Free photo shoot area. Just Thank you. I AF is tracking okay on this. I mean, it is not a portrait lens, so it's not picking up the eye as good as maybe a native Sony lens would, but really, it's doing perfectly fine for what it is. I think I'm gonna like some of the images that come out. Why we've come back here is that we uh, were going to the botanical gardens but it started raining we tried to find it and stay out in the rain but it just got worse yeah i'm happy for this lens to get rained on but not so happy for the gimbal to get rained on so just gonna shoot with a um umbrella and that solved all our problems and we got our um beaters on so who cares if they get a bit wet and dirty hey let's go buy right. a dyson umbrella yeah let's do it Clear, is it? This one's clear. Yeah, I like the clear one. No, you are fast, right? Oh, I was just going to slip off the of thing.
just need a break. Mess. I need a break from you lot. Michelle and Samuel, I just need a break from you. I just need a bloody break. Just need a minute. Just let your mum have a minute. We fun tested the lens. Yeah, it's a really good vlogging lens. Mm. There's a lot of problems that arise when you use cameras and I've heard directors say making films is about problem solving because you've got a story, you've got something in mind to do and there's always going to be practical things that get in the way but this lens and camera combination and even the filter I feel like is a real problem solver makes things really easy and I'd be pretty happy if this was my only gimbal lens and because I think this is absolutely the perfect gimbal lens especially for Weeble Lab and the smaller stuff that are affected more by weight out the front and I mean yeah like length of the lens and <laughs> I'm sorry but that noise is really creepy yeah, okay. the weight does change inside the lens but it's only from 24 to 28 will it affect the balance of the gimbal and it's so minor it, it won't really affect the performance but it the weight does change inside the lens there's a finicky point that I haven't heard anyone else talk about in the reviews and the YouTube worlds the best gimbal lens ever yes this is like mm. I'm just gonna say it I'm just gonna say it autofocus yeah we'll review this but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be on the money being a wide-angle lens it's a little bit easier to focus like I don't think we're gonna have any issues price and value yeah it's a little bit ecky but it's worth it I really think this is an amazing lens we had the 16 to 35 f4 before this and as you can see here on the some of these examples it had some softness around the edges it looks like a different camera on the side of the on the edge sharpness the and some people say oh you care about edge sharpness well I do because I'm putting people's faces in those edges and I don't want it to seem like it's a different camera on the same shot it just looks so weird so I wasn't happy with that lens in that regard and I feel like this is sharper just from some of the footage that we have seen already because there's five of us is yeah what you when say we that. do family there's, vlogs there's or a lot of us in the frame even even when it's just you and me in the shot and one of us dips to the edge I don't want it looking like it goes into a, like a vortex mode when you're in the corner of the lens and it goes yeah shh. I have a so, tendency shh. to fidget too so yeah I get a feeling you're referring to me no Poking me too. Head. I think we're going to be testing the low light capabilities of this lens pretty quick because I think we've only got another half an hour of light left. But I suspect it'll, it might slow down a little bit like the Tamron 28 to 75 in the dark, the that one Achilles, the Achilles heel, heel of that lens. And I feel like it'd be the same for this lens at 28. But who knows? We'll see. We'll do some tests. But it's, as I said before, it's easy for wide-angle lenses to get things in focus. But let's walk back, baby, see if we don't get completely drenched. Um, we'll have to be hugging each other tight. There's issues with umbrellas when you are a very tall person and then I am a very small person. A, because in order to get me coverage... <laughs> what? what, Siri? I turned Siri on. Because I said, there are, some si I said there are some... Let's go. Oh, look at the little thing on you. Leaf Thank thing. You. On your... Yeah. People think I'm a leaf, <gasps> I'm a bug. See ya, bitches. <laughs> it's a great song.
Okay, come back. I stood very close to the camera there. Yeah. Now come up. It's tracking you like on the money. Tried it 28 millimeter. Okay, go down. Now come up. A bit closer. Uh, down. Go down. Yeah, now up. It's grabbing you great. I'm really impressed. I think this is better than the 28 to 75. I really do. Um, walk away and then come back to me. Amazing. Probably can't notice it because it's doing so well, but your face is a lot darker than the light that's in the background. So, I'm really impressed. It just keeps tracking you. This is, I'm gonna say that this is better than the 28 to 75. You and said it. I'm happy. It has been said. Happy about that. You have said it. I'm really pushing the raw files here. I would not usually do portrait photography with such a dimly lit subject, but I'm just really trying to test the lens's ability to track focus. I missed it here, but it's overall very impressive. So, wrapping up, this is a surprisingly good lens. I thought it would struggle more in low light, but as you can see from the test, it performed remarkably. And very happy with that. Uh, as with the 28 to 75 mil Tamron for Sony lenses, it took the third incarnation of the software update for, for them to get it right. So. But they got it right straight out of the gate on this one. So, well done, Tamron. It's late in the day. We need some water. And we're on our second meal on this review slash date slash excursion slash review time. <laughs> so, we time we got some more video. food. And thank you for watching this far. Please subscribe, comment. Tell us some of your opinions on the footage that you saw in this video. Correct us if we got anything wrong. Press like, because that helps out the channel also. And yeah, thanks again. See you next time.